Hey, welcome to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore, and this is Andrew Kramer. We just got done recording the newest episode of the Purple Podcast for 1500 ESPN, in which we previewed the Senior Bowl, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about all the prospects that Vikings fans might be interested in watching this weekend based on their position of need, or at least some of the positions that we feel are a big need for the Vikings. Uh, Andrew, I guess we'll go over the quick hitter version of that for this video, but if you enjoy the Senior Bowl stuff, do check out that podcast, about 45 minutes about mm -hmm. kind of the players that the Vikings should be looking for. Um, but on, on this video, we're going to talk about the positions of need, some of the players who might fill those, and more generally, just what teams can get out of the Senior Bowl week. So, Andrew, I'll bring you in for the positions of need. You you listened on a piece for 1500ESPN.com recently. Linebacker, safety, yeah. wide receiver, cornerback, potentially running back, and guard. Uh, any of those that strike you as particularly needy, I suppose, for the Vikings? Yeah, well, I suppose Mike Zimmer and Rick Spielman have come out and said how they're approaching this offseason is they've got eight positions or eight needs they need. Uh, they're obviously not going to come out and tell us, but it's pretty obvious to see, just kind of guessing of how, you know, how their 2014 season went, where they need to upgrade. Right. And those five you just listed, I would assume are five of the eight that they're talking about. Uh, I think down here at the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama, they'll be able to uh, go through and find some good prospects in the second, third, fourth, fifth rounds. If you remember last year's Senior Bowl, they watched guys they ended up drafted like uh, Shamar Steffen at nose yeah. tackle, uh, Jarek McKinnon at running back, and they even extended an invite to the uh, rookie minicamp to Kane Coulter, who they ended up uh, signing to an $8,000 bonus, and he ended up on the, on the practice squad all year. So they're going to find guys that... They might not just draft, but they're definitely going to be looking at to bring in at rookie mini camps, mm -hmm. other workouts to get looks out of maybe guys that can land on the practice squad, sure. stuff like that. So, uh, but definitely those positions you mentioned, there are a few guys there who I see specifically at uh, safety, receiver, and running back that could be pretty good for them. Sure. We'll get into the, some of those names in a quick second here. But one of the things you would stress to me on the podcast is that this isn't the top flight guys. No. You're not yeah. going to see. Marcus Mariota, no. Jameis Winston at the Senior Bowl. What can the Vikings and other teams really get from, I guess, looking at some of those and maybe day two, day three guys? Yeah, and it's a situation like we just laid out. There's not going to be guys who want to risk injury or risk anything when they feel like they've already shown enough on, on the college stage. Uh, so guys that if, if, for instance, the Vikings have the 11th overall pick, if they're going to go ahead and pick a linebacker or safety, those one of those options there isn't going to be there down at, down in Alabama for the Probably Senior not. Bowl. You're not going to see Alabama's Landon Collins, who might be the top overall pick at safety, who the Vikings might be able to get if they're lucky enough at 11. You're not going to see him down there. Instead, you're going to see guys that are kind of middle of the pack, guys you might not necessarily know. Uh, Curtis Drummond out of Michigan State, guys like. Uh, uh, ja, what's that guy's name? Jaquiz Tart or something like that. There, there's Jaquiski another Jaquiski Tart. Jaquiski, that's right. I forgot that's about right. the Quiski, but no, a, a kid out of Sanford has been turning some heads down there. Uh, there's other names down there. Cody Pruitt out of Old Miss. Uh, those are just safeties down at the Senior Bowl. Names that aren't necessarily top echelon, top five guys, but still guys like you said, Derek, that might be day two, even maybe day three uh, picks for the Vikings. I got your piece here for 1500ESPN.com, and you listed at each of the critical positions somebody who the Vikings should watch for. Give me three of those names from that list that you think might be realistic uh, draft possibilities for the Vikings. Uh, well, let's start right in our own backyard. Uh, David Cobb, I think, with the Gophers could be an option. Uh, obviously, this is one of the deeper running back draft classes that Rick Spielman's seen in a while, he said, or really that I think anybody's seen in, in quite some time just in terms of the depth. Not, not very top-heavy, uh, but just in terms of overall length and how many candidates there are. They're not going to go in the first round, in my opinion, to get a running back uh, just because it's not a top need on this team. They, they already drafted Jarek McKinnon. So really, I think they just need to add another body for competition uh, purposes because you don't know the future of Adrian Peterson. And at this mm -hmm. point, we have to assume he's gone, in my opinion, just because of his salary cap and age level. So, or even just to prepare for that inevitability. Exactly. And they already, tried, they already tried to do that with Jarek McKinnon. But if you can get a guy like David Cobb at day two, maybe another third round running back, I think you can kind of then make Matt Asiata your third option and kind of have a competition between McKinnon and whoever you bring in, or if they get somebody in free agency, but who you'll be able to watch at the senior bowl, David Cobb's a guy that's turning heads. He's only five foot uh, 10 and three quarters. I believe he's more of a bowling ball type back. He's, yeah. He really could compliment, in my opinion, Jarek McKinnon and what he brings and his kind of elusiveness 
David Cobb is more of an in-between the tackles, going to hit you in the mouth kind of guy, but a better runner, in my opinion, than what Matt Asiata has been able to show here at the uh, NFL level. Other names to watch besides their running back or the other guys yeah, you're keeping an eye on? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've gone through the safeties, but how about cornerback? Uh, a guy like Ladarius Gunter. There, there are a few cornerback options, uh, obviously, down here at the senior, down there at the senior bowl, who uh, are intriguing, in my opinion. Uh, but I think a guy like Ladarius Gunter, who's almost six foot two, one of the bigger bodies, he's really the kind of prototypical guy that Mike Zimmer wants in terms of his press man scheme yeah. size wise. The reason why Xavier Rhodes is doing so well is not just because he's been coached up by Mike Zimmer, but because he has a 79 inch wingspan. He's six foot one. He's big enough to be able to press the bigger receivers in the NFL and then go up and deflect the passes and, and the kind of stuff you need to do. So really, they're not going to go out there, in my opinion, and get a five foot 10, five foot 11 corner. Keep an eye on the taller guys down there at the Senior Bowl. And one of those is Ladarius Gunter, a guy out of Miami, a hurricane who played all three positions down there at the U for uh, Miami. He played the slot corner, he played the outside corner, and he even dabbled in safety. So sure. he's got experience all over the place. Finally, too, we talked quite a bit about linebacker on the Purple Podcast. Who do you have your eye on there? And really, what are the Vikings looking for? Yeah, I think they're looking for an athletic middle linebacker. Jasper Brinkley filled that hole as a, a free agent this past off or this past season. I some coaches praised him for what he was able to do because he was pretty decent in a limited role, but he's still not that kind of guy, in my opinion, that's going to be able to get done what Mike Zimmer wants to do in his defense. Yeah. And so because of that, I think you need a more athletic guy, a guy that can really stop the run more. Because if you remember from November to the beginning of December, the Vikings allowed 150 rushing yards a game in that stretch. They yeah. need better linebackers to stop the gaps. And right now, Anthony Barr is the only guy you can pen in as a starter next year. So guys like Nick Perry, uh, or excuse me, Denzel Perryman out of Miami. Uh, there's a guy uh, named uh, Hayes Pollard out of USC. Uh, there's not a few other kids. Uh, I remember one out of Penn State. I can't quite remember his Your name. Um, Mike Hull, that's right, out of Penn State, an outside linebacker. Jordan Hicks out of Texas. There are a few options here who are four-year guys. Uh, grown guys that could be, you know, again, day two options that could be competing for starting spots this summer. Be interesting to see kind of the happenings of the Senior Bowl and see yeah. how it impacts what the Vikings do going forward. Of course, this is just a piece to the puzzle, yes. but a fun and interesting piece nonetheless. If you do enjoy any of the Senior Bowl stuff, check out that episode of the Purple Podcast. Greater length and yes. on uh, some of the candidates and some of the needs for the Vikings too. Some really fun stuff on that episode of the podcast. Uh, for Andrew Kramer, I'm Derek Wetmore. That'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.